The strategy coined by the opposition ahead of the Lok Sabha polls, the Congress party released the first list of candidates yesterday. The list featured a total of 39 candidates including Rahul Gandhi, Shashi Tharoor and Bhupesh Baghel. Out of the total 39 candidates, 24 belong to the SCST and OBC community. Rahul Gandhi has retained Kerala's Vayanar and Bhupesh Baghel is all set to contest from Chhattisgarh, Rajanandagao. Other key candidates featuring in the Congress list include Shashi Tharoor uh, who will contest from Tiruvannantapur a constituency uh, on which he won on the last three times. Onto Anthony from uh, Pathanamitta, K. Murli Dharan from Thrissur, D. K. Suresh, uh, D. K. Shiv Kumar's brother from Bengaluru Rural, and K. C. Venugopal, a close aide of Rahul Gandhi, will contest from Malaposa. Meanwhile, BJP took a dig at the Congress party over its first list, asking why Rahul Gandhi was not contesting from Amiti. BJP, in fact, said that Rahul was scared to face the BJP and that the Congress's lack of confidence is clearly visible with the first list. Just to say that I am uh, honoured and humbled that the Congress party has given me an opportunity to defend my seat. I have had the privilege of serving uh, the people of Tiruvannantapuram for 15 years and I am looking forward to an opportunity to continue this process of service once more. Our priority is to win maximum Lok Sabha seat to defeat Modi in this next election. Our target is to win maximum parliament seat for Congress party. The, the pr top priority is to win maximum Lok Sabha seat. That is the point. पूरी तरह से आश्वस्त हैं जिस तरह के नाम आप देख रहे हैं इस लिस्ट में वरिष्ठ नेता हमारे केसी बेनुगोपाल जी और ऐसे भूतपूर्व मुख्यमंत्री भूपेश बघेल जी आदि ऐसे नाम हैं जिससे ये मालूम पड़ता है कि कांग्रेस पार्टी ये चुनाव सिर्फ और सिर्फ जीतने के लिए लड़ रही है गुड लक uh, he can only come uh, to why not and we all know why uh, but I don't want to uh, talk about that but I wish them well luck uh, but I think the people of uh, Kerala this time will certainly uh, not give the Congress the mandate that they gave them last elections last election they had created an aura and a, a perception about uh, about what was going to happen in 2019 and the people of India want a third term for Narendra Modi ji and I am, I am very confident the people of Kerala will, uh, will, will vote very, very clearly to strengthen Prime Minister Narendra Modi's hand. No discussion, no discussion. It is between LDF and UDF in Kerala, everybody knows. The fight is between LDF and UDF. And LDF contests all the seats. Now the question is not that uh, whether Congress should fight or not. Yeah, as political party, it has the prerogative to decide. But the question is whether Mr. Rahul Gandhi, a leader of his stature, should be fielded there as candidate or not. That is what Congress party should have th thought of it.